It's only we've come this far. Danny Stefanati, cut. Stefanetti, not naughty. Stefanotti. <laughs> Ooh, there's an insect. My name is Danny Stefanetti. I was an uncool kid that came from a beach town in Perth, the most isolated capital city in the world. My mum, we were flicking through the newspaper and she said, would you like to learn the guitar or violin? And I said, take me to a guitar lesson. My guitar teacher was um, reluctant to take me on because I was only eight years old and my fingers were really little. But he gave me my first lesson, he taught me Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Take It Easy. From that moment on, I was already writing songs and next thing you knew, I, I was starting on the electric guitar and I was in the recording studio trying to produce my own guitar solos with my guitar teacher. I was very shy as a child. I, have, I used to have really bad teeth. My mum you know, used to say to her friends that they can fix the teeth because a lot of people said I would never make it because of the way my face looked with the, with the teeth. I just started songwriting, playing guitar at that time and no one was teasing me anymore because I was a singer and it was the coolest thing in the world. I was like, wow, why didn't I start this sooner? From the moment my mum put me in guitar lessons and then I started playing by ear, I instantly knew it, that's, that was my purpose here on earth, to be a musician, to write songs that came from my heart and I didn't have a plan B. There was never a plan B. <laughs> and I look to you when I need inspiration. I declare it. I'm inspired by you. And you speak the truth into my situation. days when I was uh, playing music my dad was a big part of my life and we used to tour together through the outback and then at the end of the whole tour I played at a dive bar and there was a brawl I threw my tambourine out into the crowd and then people started fighting over the tambourine next thing you know my dad went into the middle of the fight and I had to jump off stage with my guitar and run out of there Uh, growing up, my influences were my dad's old records. So I heard Hotel California, and I thought that was the best song that I'd ever heard. Uh, Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and then the old, you know, songwriters like Carole King. I've been flown in, I've been my own thoughts, but time paused when you walk through the door. The way time I moved to America because I grew up on listening to American country music and it was a place I always dreamed to one day sing at, in Nashville at the Grand Ole Opry and I always dreamed of making it as a musician in the United States. Y'all want a sweet tea? <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. I don't want another baby with no fixed address. I wave goodbye in my simple city dress. My granddad gave me this old country and western wooden book of Delta Dawn and all those little country songs when I was growing up. That was my dream and I held on to it until one day I sold all my stuff and I landed in Los Angeles. <laughs> This next song I dedicated to my granddad. He's now passed, but uh, he gave me one of my first guitars, which I later accidentally broke. But um, he introduced me to country music, and if it wasn't for him, I, I probably 
wouldn't be doing this for a living. And uh, anyway, this one went out to him and it's called You Make Me Beautiful. My favourite part of the music industry is performing live to people and seeing their reaction and feeding off the crowd. To me that's like therapy, it's the most unreal rush I've ever experienced and nothing compares to it. And cha cha honey see my point of view, I really want to stay and talk all night with you. If people hear my music for the first time, whether it's in a recording or come to one of my live shows, I want them to leave my show feeling moved. I want my music to move them, to inspire them. My mum always used to say to me, you know, comparison is a thief of, thief of joy. Always stay who you are and don't try to fit, fit a trend or a box. And I think that's so true for like younger girls and the next generation. If we could just be happy with finding what makes us uniquely special you're going to be a lot happier when you walk into that path. And if someone puts you down and doesn't like what you're doing, well, you're going to offend people, but you just got to be true to who you are in your journey. And eventually something's going to, something's going to hit. To speak hope and life into someone. Um, it, to me, it's a soulful, spiritual experience. And that's what I try to communicate to the crowd. Cause you think I'm beautiful, just so way that I am. Yeah, we well, unbreakable. You got this whole wide world in your hands. Oh, I think you're beautiful. Just the way that you are. Yeah, we well, unstoppable. Cause honey, we've come this far. Three Danny Stefanetti cut.